Hey guys, Nate here from The Run Experience, inviting you to join our 28-day burpee challenge. I'm gonna talk about all the details, how you can join, how you can participate, how you can get in one of our videos, as well as details on how to do a darn burpee so it can make sense for your running. Let's get started. So, your mission, should you choose to accept, this burpee challenge is gonna go down on Monday, January 7th, that's a week from now, and it's gonna end on Sunday, February 3rd. Now, different from other burpee challenges out there is that you have some choice in the matter. You get to choose the number of burpees you wanna to commit to on a daily basis. Let's say you start with five burpees a day, that's just fine, you could also start with 10 burpees a day, 20 burpees a day, you get all the way up to 50 burpees a day or more, doesn't matter to me. But here is the kicker. Each additional week, you have to add 10 additional burpees per day. So say you start at five burpees a day that first week. When you get to week two, you're doing 15 burpees a day. Week three, you're doing 25 burpees a day. And then finally, week four, you're doing 35 burpees a day. And you can imagine where that goes if you start even at those higher numbers, at 50, 60, 70, 80. The burpees can be scaled up or scaled down. Uh, for those of you guys who are new to this or more advanced, we can give you more advanced versions of this. In fact, each and every week, we're gonna be giving a new tip, uh, a new way of doing burpees, a new way of thinking about burpees. So this doesn't only something that we all grind through, but we actually use as an opportunity to improve as runners. Now, why burpees, you may be asking yourself. Well, here's the deal. Runners need to be strong, mobile, coordinated to be able to run well. And, and burpees really demand that. Burpees, when done well, they can improve your posture and your core strength. They can improve your mobility and your range of motion and your ability to put complex movement patterns together. They can be done anywhere by anyone. They don't require any equipment. They can be scaled up and scaled down. And, and kind of on a philosophical note, guys, it's kind of fun when we fall down, we have to dust ourselves off and get back up again. And we'll get a lot of practice this month in this burpee challenge. So let's break this burpee down in a way that is not just something that we do to get sweaty and suffer through, but a way that actually makes us better runners, that shows us where we might be missing mobility and uh, how we can be stronger, more coordinated in a way that helps our running technique. I'm gonna focus on a few different points. One, I'm gonna talk about how we put our hands in the ground, which is gonna involve some sort of hinge at the hips, and how we jump in and out with our feet. That's gonna be the second thing. And the third one is how do we move in a coordinated way to generate a little bit more power at our hips so that we're not muscling our way through this thing, we can be very efficient. Now this whole thing, I'm gonna make sure that our heels and big toes are together the whole time. I'm doing this so that I'm really prioritizing alignment and good positioning. A lot of times our feet tend to separate and then our feet go out this way and then our feet collapse this way and we're not really aware of it. So by bringing our heels and big toes together through this whole exercise, it's gonna make us very aware of where we should be and how to improve it. So first step, I'm just gonna practice this hinge at the hip. Notice that I'm gonna hinge at the hip, drop my hands on the ground, and I'm gonna keep my hips kind of high so that my foot's flat on the ground and I've got a little tension in these hamstrings. This is gonna help me out. So I'm gonna come back up tall, I'm gonna hinge over, touch, and notice that I'm never dropping down all the way down here where I'm on my toes. Once I have that, I'm gonna notice another thing where when I hinge over and separate, my toe, my knees are gonna naturally flare out a little bit that happens when I flex at the hip, a little external rotation occurs, totally natural and good. So once I'm here, hinge over, hands on the ground, I'm gonna focus on stepping back into this plank. I'm in a strong plank, abs are on, butt squeeze, I'm gonna step back in, heels and big toes touch. This is harder than you think. A lot of you guys are gonna step in with your feet a little bit separated like this. I want you to really care and really focus on that. So, once I've practiced on stepping in and stepping out, I'm gonna add a little jump out into the plank. Now once I'm in this position, rather than just jump in and land in the bottom of this, I need to get back to here. And the best way to get back to here is to learn how to use my hips to generate a little power and a little rotation. So with my abs on and my butt squeezed, I'm gonna deliberately bow my body into extension a little bit and I'm gonna snap my hips up. When I snap my hips up, I generate a little upward momentum. 
So instead of just going upward, I'm gonna snap my hips up such a way that my feet now rotate towards my hands. So I'm here, drop my hips, snap them in. Nice and easy again. I'm not down here, I'm finishing up here. Now once I have that, now we can focus on the bottom half of the burpee, which to me is more like a controlled crash to the ground and less a strict push-up. So, I'm tall, heels and big toes together, hands in the ground, hips are up high, tension on the hamstrings, I'm gonna step back and immediately crash to the ground this way. And as I press up again, not a strict push-up, I'm gonna deliberately lift my chest first, abs are on, butt is squeezed, I'm gonna snap my hips. So now my feet land underneath me, and just to show you two more, this way, you can tell this is a nice, efficient, clean, mobile way of doing a burpee. Look, this challenge is all about making these burpees work for you. So remember, choose the number of reps you want to start at. It doesn't have to be a crazy number. Quality over quantity is better. I'd rather see five to 10 burpees done really well than a bunch of ugly burpees that's not really going to help your running. You can break these burpees up. They don't all have to be done in a row. You could do a couple in the morning, a couple at night, a couple before or after your run. Remember, you can modify the burpee to work for you. if. Your shoulders or elbows feeling a little off or sore, do a straight arm version of this. Jump out into a plank, practice that little bend and snap of the hips, jump back in. If you're a little mobile or immobile and stiff, elevate your hands off the ground. That can help you get in and out of this position a little bit better. And of course, if you wanna participate in the burpee challenge and really uh, be part of the conversation, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get into our community tab. We're gonna be posting photos of us doing our burpees every single day. We're gonna be dropping little hints and clues on how to do a better burpee in there all the way through. And in the final week, we're gonna be making a call for your guys' burpee videos because at the end of this challenge, we're gonna to put together a composite video we're gonna choose some of our favorite submissions and uh, who knows, maybe you could be on our video and on our channel. They can be done by anyone, by uh, anywhere. This sucks, this really sucks, Holly. Hopefully you now have a better sense of what burpees can do for you and your running, most importantly. Are you gonna join us for the challenge? Let us know below in the comments. Drop uh, your name, your commitment, the number of burpees you're gonna start on. We are gonna keep this party going in our community tab for the next 28 days, and uh, we wanna cheer you on in the process. If you like this video, guys, hit that like button. That helps us a lot. That helps other runners just like you find this burpee challenge. And of course, subscribe to our channel because we got all matter of running related content coming out at you each and every single month, including nutrition, injury prevention, strength training, race specific workouts, and uh, you may want them. So hit that subscribe button. Guys, I gotta start my burpees. So I'll see you in the next video.